Hey everybody, it's The Walker. So what are we doing today? Um, today we're going to compare both a traditional GPS versus the Apple Health app for distance covered trail running. We're at a very popular jogging, hiking trail. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for around 5 miles. Actually, you know the exact distance is 5.25 .25 miles per the map. So we're going to do that. And then we'll compare, we'll see how these two devices measure up in comparison to each other. Now there's supposed to be a uh, thunderstorm, so I'm going to take this little um, waterproof action cam. So we'll suit everything up. Let's see here. Um, point zero, looks like um, point zero two miles. This is 50 feet, point, um, point zero one miles. So they're both starting pretty close to um, dead even. Just the distance walking around uh, to the car, back I guess, to the truck. All right. Let's go with, um, oh, what do we need here? We need um, mm, time, stopwatch, start. All right, so we're, the watch is, the, the time is going, the time is going. Five miles, that's the goal. Backpack trail jogging. It's going. We're going. This camera's running. Okay. Kill this one. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Um, man, that was a good run. Not that fast though. I saw it was kind of hard, tough holding that camera steady. Okay. Stop. All right. So we have. One hour and nine minutes and 50 seconds. You know, um, not the world's fastest run, but that wasn't my goal here. So let's compare. Um, this darn thing got all fogged up on me for some reason. The rain didn't come, only a few sprinkles, but it got all fogged up. Okay, let's see what we got. The GPS first. The trip computer says. Uh, let's see here. 5.25 miles. Uh, at max speed, 6.5 miles per hour. Um, moving time, one hour and six minutes. That's pretty accurate. Um, this is one hour and nine minutes. But we have to calculate also. Um, I spent a little bit of time messing around with the putting this device inside the pack, locking up the car. So, all right, so we have um, one hour and six minutes. Um, overall average, 4.1 miles per hour. 
I wasn't exactly flying. Um, but that's all per this instrument. So I'm not exactly sure how accurate accurate it is because it's a GPS. At least for at least for speed. Anyways, we're measuring distance here. All right. So let's see. Although, let's see what we got for this device. All right. We'll get out of this. There we are. All right. See there. We'll go over to the health app. 5.63 miles on the health app. Um, you know, that's not, that's pretty close. Um, pretty close. Um, 5.25 miles and then um, 5.63 miles. And remember, this had like 0.2 miles on it. I had 0.02 miles on it already for just walking around the car, putting it in the car, and things like that. Um, so it's, it's pretty close, it's pretty close. I actually use a separate device, my phone, which I walk around with. I didn't use that because it had a bunch of mileage on it. So I used his own separate device for this. So all right, so based on this terrain alone, I'm gonna have to say that the, um, the Garmin GPS and the, um, health app that comes with um, the Windows operating system are pretty darn close. I mean, pretty darn close. I, I can't tell you how it would be if, uh, like, you know, going up and down steep hills or anything like that. I was just testing how, how close these two devices would measure on a um, slow to moderate jog on flat trail type terrain. And this was big, wide, wide dirt road. So, all right, so that's about it. Um, not bad, not bad. Verdict, the uh, Apple um, Health app that comes with your iPhone, I think um, six or above, matches pretty closely to a Garmin GPS. There you go. There you go. All right, that's it for today. Um, if you like what you see, now give me a thumbs up. And uh, as always, uh, thank you very much for watching and hit the subscribe button. And as I <laughs> have a great day, this one was a blast.